Hi, welcome to Fletcher's Farm House, which is a brand new YouTube channel. Um, I hope you stay for the rest of the video and I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos as I make them as I go along. And it's a very steep learning curve. Um, so, you know, I'm learning as I go. So this is our new kitchen. Now, the idea is I wanted it to be um, in a country farmhouse style. So this is um, how it's looking at the moment. I may not keep everything as it is here. I might move things around again, but I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the kitchen. But first of all, this is our rag doll, Farlan. There he is. <laughs> and we've got two other cats, a Persian, Fisker, and a British shorter called Kaylin. So, uh, yeah, so this is, well, the back door, and this is our emergency table, I call it. It's nice uh, size, and that's the tripod thing for doing future videos. And then we've got, well, the fridge freezer, cake tins, and up here, I think it was only a pound for this from the pound shop but it just fits two kitchen rolls in it nicely which is great and those things are for the gardening things what I'm going to be doing I, I don't have a clue what I'm doing with gardening this is my garden so far and that shed's going and I'm gonna have a vegetable patch and I did put up a greenhouse you could probably just see it there in the corner um, but there's nothing in it at the moment. Go on, Farland. Um, so this is a fruit and veg rack, which I've bought, which I quite like because you can write on and chalk and it suits the whole theme. This is the butter churner, which I use quite a lot because I do like to make my own butter and when I've made the butter it goes in here which is a good solid and it's got a good seal to it as well. There is a little knife that goes on there, I have to find that and put it in there. Um, and I like these little milk jugs. So we've got the milk jug and we've also got the honey pot as well in the same range and this is what my sister bought me which you can actually put books on so that would be handy for when I have to put the recipe books on and she also bought me the egg box as well which is really quite good and this is <laughs> this is a bit of a contentious thing because um, my friend doesn't think it fits in a country farmhouse kitchen because it's an oyster catcher but I really like it and I like the colour and I think it does work um, and there are oyster catchers at the nearby beach which is only about seven or eight miles away from us so I think it's relevant and I think it should stay. Um, my sister also bought these little pots with the lids and this is another butter, butter crock which will be handy for summer so that we can use the butter and it won't be hard to spread. Um, these are fake plants at the moment, but I will be having my own herb garden on this windowsill. And this box was only a pound from the pound shop. And I think it looks quite nice. I have two lots of kitchen roll, which is one for drying the pots and one for normal hand washing and drying and things. Um, this is actually from the stripy range and I've used it as a soap holder so instead of a spoon holder it's supposed to be for spoons but as you can see I've got the brilliant Highland Cow one which I love anything Highland Cow. Now this is the sink which is a Belfast sink I think it is which is amazing and the Victorian uh, taps so the sink is my most favorite thing and we've even got an authentic wooden draining board as well 
which is great. I've had to raise it up a little bit, but a tea towel does the job, that's fine. Um, the flooring, yeah, that's that's all been done now and it matches with everything. Um, the bread bin, that matches with the cream walls and the toaster and everything is, you know, trying to keep it in a nice theme of wood and cream and a, a splash of white. Uh, we got this when we bought the kitchen. They actually gave us that and a box of chocolates. It looks really nice. Now, that's a bread maker, a brand new one. I haven't used it yet. I will be doing a video where I'm going to use that. I used to have one a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm hoping to get back into making my own bread, my own butter. Uh, so we're going along the lines of self-sufficiency as well as much as we can. And in keeping with the farmhouse country theme, which I do live in the country. I live in a Scottish village in Ayrshire, which I've recently moved to. Um, this is new as well. I haven't used this yet. This is for frothing milk and warming milk. So that's another video coming. I really like this little tea and coffee shelf. And this is my, my most favourite cup at the moment. So the kettle's ready to be put on the boil. And this is Betsy. So this is our range cooker, Betsy. Now, I'm still getting used to Betsy. And up to now, I've only really burned off this oven here, this, this bottom one and used it. So I have used it, I have baked some cakes in it and everything and it's great. But I really need to burn off and use the other three things as well. It's dual fuel, so it's electric ovens, which I'm just not used to electric ovens. And it's um, gas on the top. And then we've got the microwave, which I've put here for now because it just doesn't seem to fit anywhere in this kitchen, this microwave. Um, because if I put it over there, it just takes up loads of room and it just doesn't feel like it's in the right place. Here it's it's not so bad. And this is, you know, units, drawers. So that's the cutlery drawer. And then it's just stuff for the kitchen. And then we've got baking things. Lots of baking things. <laughs> and spur um, curtain rings as well. And then of course we've got things in the cupboards um, and yeah I mean so we've got quite a lot of stuff in the baking cupboards so but I need to sort all these out because it just isn't how it should be at the moment um, but this so I just thought I'd give you a quick tour around the farmhouse kitchen the Fletcher's farmhouse kitchen as a very first um, video. Oh, this is an integrated freezer and it's actually really quite spacious because we have got a freezer with the fridge freezer but it's very small really drawers wise so it's not the best. Um, oh yeah, there's the washing machine you all know that. Uh, we will be having blinds put up. They're actually over here but they've not been uh, put up yet. So watch this space for that. But yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon.